and today I'm going to do some collage art with you. As you can see in the background, I've got quite a few things there. It's going to be a little bit messy. So you need a piece of old newspaper to put down to protect the surface you're working on. You need a piece of paper. You need some scissors. If you need help cutting, make sure you have an adult with you to help. And you need either uh, an old newspaper or an old magazine. And lastly, you'll need some PVA glue or a glue stick. If you don't have glue, sellotape can work as well, but it's best if you have glue. Here are some examples of famous collage art. This first one is by Pablo Picasso. I saw this recently in an exhibition in London. The painting is absolutely huge and all of the art is made from cut out pieces of wallpaper that he has then painted over. The second piece is by Matisse. It is a snail. I've also seen this in London in the Tate Modern. Collage art is where you have a piece of paper and you make an image out of lots of smaller pieces of paper, such as these. So what I've done is I've had a magazine and I've cut out loads of different pieces of colour and shape from the magazine. Lots of pieces to choose from. So for example, I'm going to make an apple and apples are green and red. So I can see there's some green in this. So I'm just going to cut out some shapes and I'm going to add it to my collection. So your first task is to think of something you would like to make. It could just be, like here, lots of different patterns, triangles cut out, all of the different colours making a beautiful modern art picture. You could cut out lots of different images from a magazine that you like and you can arrange them all to make a picture such as these. So I'm going to choose an apple. My apple is going to be green and red. So I have cut out quite a lot of green and red bits, but also, you know, orange pieces that are colours that are close, even just objects. So I like these flowers. So I think that could go on my apple as well. First of all, with my piece of paper, I'm just going to draw an outline of an apple. Okay, so that's my outline, and then we've got a stalk. So a nice simple shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my PVA glue. So with your PVA glue, if you don't have something to put it in, use an old newspaper so that you're not making anything messy, and squeeze your glue on. There we go, some PVA glue. If you don't have glue, you can use sellotape. If you don't have a paintbrush like me, we can make a glue spreader. So with an old piece of paper or a piece of card, you can just fold it over. I can just use it to spread like this. If you don't have glue, I'm going to show you what to do. So let's say you're adding all of your collage. So I'm not thinking about where I'm putting it, just doing this to show you. It's a bit trickier if you don't have glue. So you would make your picture and then you would put the tape all the way across to stick it down. Whereas if we have glue, we're going to put glue on the back and stick it down one at a time. So with my collage, I've cut out big pieces and small pieces. I'm going to be greedy at the start and put a nice big piece down to start me off with. You don't need too much glue on your spreader. I'm going to glue down here. And I'm going to stick it here. As you can see, it's gone a bit over my outline, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to do this half of the apple is going to be red and this half of the apple is going to be green. So I'm going to find lots of red bits and lots of green and I'm going to layer them on top. So this is green, but it's also got flowers on, but I don't mind, I quite like that. So I'm going to stick that down. With 
With some bits, you might find pictures you really like in the magazine. I saw these little biscuits and I thought they were really interesting colours. So they're not red, they're not green, they're pink and white. But I think that can still be an interesting shape and colour to add. So I'm going to save that for later. As you can see, I've got all of my pieces to look through here. Got some vegetables here, which I'm going to put on my apple. Here I've even cut out an actual object from the magazine. So this is a glass of juice. I thought it was an interesting shape. So instead of just cutting random shapes, I actually cut around it. I even found some cauliflower, which I thought would be quite an interesting shape and colour. So you can use your imagination. Any images that you like the look of, cut them out and stick them in. And sometimes you'll just have a plain shape and colour like this. So we're starting to get the shape of the apple here and we've got the nice sort of reddy purples and the greens. I've now got another piece of uh, paper for the stalk and there we go, we have our collage apple. But what I would like to do is add some pieces in the background, a sort of background piece. Um, so I have taken some newspaper clippings. What I'm going to do, instead of gluing each individual piece, I'm just going to put glue on all of the right white part of the paper so that I can just press it down and it will stick nice and easily. What I've started doing is I've started sticking down my scraps of newspaper all around the edge. It might stick off at the top but I'm going to cut those at the end. So my focus now is just making interesting shapes with my newspaper. I can still use colourful bits if I want, but I like having the apple as the attention. So I'm just ripping my newspaper, a bit more glue. With difficult bits like that, you can rip it to the right shape. You can always take it off if you do it wrong. There we go. So my page is now full. We've got a complete A4 piece of paper, but we've got all these messy bits around the edge. So all I'm going to do is just cut along the edge. You can see I've got a bit of a loose bit there, so I'm just going to put some glue there. And here is my finished collage. Remember to have fun with this. It doesn't need to be realistic. As seen in these examples, you can work really hard to make something more simple and refined by just choosing one colour and working on shadow and tone. But I always love to have lots of fun with my art. So I like putting, I put some biscuits in, a piece of fruit and just lots of different shapes. Like we've even got some vegetables here. I hope you enjoyed the collage class. Sometimes it's really fun just to make something new out of old things, such as old magazines and newspapers. I really enjoyed making my apple. I went for quite a colourful and crazy combination of colour and black and white. I hope you have had fun and that you have a great time making your own piece of artwork.